eternal greetings, eternal greetings, eternal blessings to all. Passion. There is only passion. The Sith say this. There is only passion. But what truly is passion? We use this word in our daily conversation, or weekly or monthly conversation. But what really is it? According to the dictionary, it is any powerful or compelling emotion or feeling, a very powerful or compelling emotion, strong animus feeling or desire, strong sexual desire. strong or extravagant fondness, enthusiasm, or desire for anything. So when we really look at this, it's a strong emotion or feeling that involves a desire or enthusiasm or fondness for something, whether it's your car, whether it's something sexual, whether it's traveling. But what I've found is people sometimes lack passion for their spiritual growth, lack passion towards their spiritual, spiritual growth, I should say. People come into the left-hand path <clears throat> and they realize how much work is dedicated to their self-development to reach apotheosis. Sometimes it takes them aback because they're not used to all the work and they're not used to all the overwhelming feelings, thoughts, and the, the roller coaster ride that they go on when they start to consistently do rituals. I mean, consistently more than they ever did before or for the first time. And it can kind of affect your emotions. It can bring depression, it can bring anger, hatred, it can bring uh, overjoy, it can bring passion, I'm sorry, lust or desire. But they sometimes lose the passion for what they're involving themselves in. Walking the left-hand path is something you should be passionate about. If you are passionate about anything, it should be your growth, your transformation, reaching apotheosis, self-deification is where the passion really should rise up because what greater work is there than to master yourself? What greater work is there than to overcome all these frailties that have been holding you back from reaching the level of apotheosis? Passion is key to all you do. And if you lack that passion, you have to find passion some way somehow to continue and propel you to master yourself to continue this work passion is everything this is why the Sith said there is only passion when you really understand that you start to understand that the passion is like the fuel is that fuel that propels the jet to fly well, it's that fuel that pushes you and propels you forward in your life. Passion is everything. When we look at Set, Satuk of ancient Kemet, Set represents that fury, that passion, that desire, that desire to be self-deified that desire to develop and grow beyond your current limitations. Encountering what borders and boundaries that you've laid out for yourself or that you've been programmed to have already is a very monumental task because sometimes we limit our greatest potential by the old paradigms that we still adhere to. We limit our joy of life 
because we're still within that old construct. This morality that's taught to us from our family, our friends, our religion, our society, our educational systems, or whatever else. We just can't seem to break free from it. Because whenever a situation arises, we go back into this box of morality. What is right? What is wrong? There is no right or wrong. There's only how you perceive what is right and wrong when it's something that affects you, something that pertains to you. Then that's when situations become right or wrong. But in the grand scheme of things, there is no right or wrong. Just like there is no good or evil. In the grand scheme of things, that is all human constructs and human definitions of what helps us deal with what we consider existence. See, passion is that fuel that burns through any blockage, that burns through any obstructions in our path. Passion is what some of you are lacking. How do you find that? Well, first you have to discover who you are. That's a task in itself because many of us think we know who we are. And in reality, we don't know anything about ourselves. And I've said this in the last several videos. We think we know who we are based upon the definitions and labels that we gave ourselves. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a mother. I'm a father. It's all about titles, titles. It doesn't define who you are. What do you really like? Do you like things because they're laid out for you and you pick from a selection? Or have you really discovered what you like besides what's provided for you? So I'm really passionate about the left impact. This is why I teach classes. I don't teach it for any other reason then I'm passionate about disseminating this information and assisting those to receive this information so that they can begin their journey of transformation that they chose to undertake. I'm not doing the work for you. I'm just disseminating the information, hoping that it assists you in some kind of way to grow and develop beyond your current existence. But I'm passionate. This is why I teach four classes in a month. And sometimes I'll do two classes in a day. So on and so forth. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I have a life, I have a job, I run a business. There's multiple things that I do day in, day out. But one thing I don't do is make excuses because I'm passionate about the left-hand path. I'm passionate about reaching that level of apotheosis. I'm passionate about mental liberation, liberating my mind from the slave mentality that most of us have been raised in. Most of us have been caged in. So therefore, I disseminate what I can, and I'm passionate when I give out this information because I've seen how it's worked for myself. I've seen how it's worked for others and transformed us and brought us to another level. I see that. And so it makes, makes me much more passionate about it because I really love the left-hand path. I love the philosophy of the left hand path. I love the various magical systems that you could utilize on this left hand path. I love that we don't try to limit ourselves on the left hand path. I love that we don't try to label and, and discriminate, uh, discriminate against anyone on the left hand path. I love that we're constantly evolving, changing, and growing. So what I believe today may change a month later. 
six months later to two years later, based upon the experiences that I acquired through my ritual work in the left hand path and through my interaction in this physical realm. By taking action after doing the ritual, I have propelled that ritual to have a greater profound effect on me. Find your passion. It is necessary. There is only passion has so much profound meaning for those who are in the Sith class. And for those who study some of the Sith philosophy, it has so much profound meaning to us. See, we use that passion to shatter the lies, to destroy our weaknesses, or to transmute our weaknesses into a strength. Because unbeknownst to many, a lot of your weaknesses can be transmuted into a strength. And therefore, the need to destroy strength, I mean, weakness completely, is not as great. It's all in the work and effort you put in to figure out, well, how can I transmute my weaknesses? If I have a weakness of being too attached, too clingy to people, how can I transmute that? So I can learn to be less clingy, less attached, and more relying on myself. Well, first you have to discover more about yourself and where that attachment came from, where that cleanliness came from. And then you can learn how to take that very issue that occurred at an early stage of your life and learn to become independent, self-sufficient. You can flip that cleanliness and attachment and become passionate about becoming independent, self-reliant, self-sufficient. And you fuel that clinginess attachment into a new stage of existence of becoming your own sovereign red commander. Because I now understand where I came from, my attachments, my clinginess, or things of that nature, I know when I'm triggered to go back to that, I know best how to work the process to not fall back into that old habitual pattern. Much of it requires requires ritual work, but don't get it twisted. Ritual work is not always in front of your altar. Your altar is more like a vortex or a cradle of energy that fuels your work. But you have to also become independent of of your altar. Remember, we spoke about that attachment and clinginess. Some people are too attached to their altar and clingy to that altar, that they can't do work without the altar. I could be out in the street, I could be at a mall, and I could do a ritual on the spot. Because I don't need my altar to fuel my passion for transformation and growth. I can do my ritual anywhere. So these are some examples, but you have to find that passion deep inside you to keep propelling yourself to greater heights. To greater heights. All of us have potential. What you do with your potential determines who you become. Some never tap into their potential. Therefore, they remain a slave to society because they doubt their own potential. They doubt their own strength, their own power. We don't do that on this path. If anything, we cultivate our strengths. We transmute our weaknesses into strength. We cultivate our power. 
and learn how to wield that power towards our advantage. Passion is everything. Tap into what you're passionate about. Write a list. Here's some homework for you. Write a list of the things you are most passionate about. Once you write that list down, then next to the top three most passionate things that you have or you're most passionate about, then figure out how can those three things that you're most passionate about be a tool that you can utilize for your growth, your change, your finances, or anything else. That's a little homework for you. Learn to dig into your darkness. Do not be afraid of your darkness. Too many people are very scary of themselves. They're scary of their darkness. They're scary how weak they really are. So they create this fake persona that they're strong. You know who those are? Those are your keyboard warriors that want to debate and argue and attack you on social media and all these things. But most of them, if you ever see them head up, they run like cowards. They're pussy, sissy, weak-ass people. That's the reality. I'm not going to talk. I'll say what I have to say. Next time I see you, you just better be ready. That's reality. See, there's a difference. I'm passionate about my warrior nature. I'm not suppressing my warrior nature to fit into this new construct that society is trying to build that's demonizing and uh, eliminating true masculinity. No. I'm not going to demonize my masculinity or lessen or downgrade my masculinity to make you feel comfortable about your issues and problems. Not happening. I love my warrior masculine energy. I love my masculinity. And I will always empower my masculinity by being that warrior. So therefore, I understand as a warrior, I can have a very brutal nature. I can have a very physically violent nature. So that's something that I've learned to channel and become passionate about kickbox. See, I've discovered that about myself. So you have to discover these things and then become passionate about how do you utilize that and channel that to propel you further. So I go to the gym, try to go two, two three times a week to learn how to kickbox even more proficiently. Jab, cross, uppercut, hook, combination, how you duck, how you block. How you do roundhouse kick, round kicks, front kicks, side kicks, shin kicks, jumping shin kicks. I've fueled my passion. My passion is fueling that warrior side of me that should not be ignored. And therefore, those sides of me that people would think are uh, negative or they look down upon in this society. I've learned to channel to something that can help me reach apotheosis and transform to a greater level. So all these keyboard warriors and all these people who want to act like they hardcore and tough. You know, I live in Orlando. And if you're so tough, I'll tell you where to meet me at too. But I guarantee you, you meet me face up. You ain't going to last long, bro. Just in real reality, because I know some of y'all love to talk, side talk, all this little pussy stuff. That's like little sissy stuff. I'm a man, confront me, come face to face. Now I'm behind the keyboard and all this stuff, face to face. I'll show you how I fuel my myself 
to be greater. I'll show you what passion is all about. When I unleash the fury of set on your ass, I'll show you. Because I'm not going to demean or lessen my warrior nature to please you because you feel inferior, weak, sissy, or whatever you feel you, you're going through. That's not my problem. If you truly walk this left-hand path, then face your weaknesses and stop projecting onto others. Stop projecting your weaknesses onto others by going into a tyrant, by talking about others, by dissing what other people are trying to work or do. It's not in your business. You want, if you really want to know how these classes work, get down with the classes. Find out for yourself. Oh, you too pussy. You'd rather just sit in the background talking smack to others about a person because you can't confront it because you're really weak. See, you find that a lot. In any path you go, conscious community, left-hand path, right-hand path, middle path, you'll find that a lot. But one thing we don't do is when you discover, let's say, that you are truly a warrior or you have that warrior in you, we're not going to. Tone that shit down for everybody. Not happening. Not, nah, no, not happening. If your feelings are hurt, if your panties are in a bunch or your boxes are in a bunch, that's your personal problem. That's your personal issue. Deal with that. Don't, don't project it onto others. You have the personal problem. And so look within yourself before you start projecting onto others. Because there's a lot of people who project their issues onto others because they don't know how to deal with it or they run from it. We're going to stand and we're going to be passionate about transforming. We're going to be passionate about reaching apotheosis. Now, this was just a quick class, something that was on my mind. So this was just a quick lecture. But here's some of the announcements. I still have people who have not transferred to the Sith class. As the last meeting we had, your assignment was a very simple assignment. And that assignment was, you have to pick whether you're a Sith assassin or a Sith sorcerer. Then on July 1st, you're supposed to transfer out of the Sith Lord class, which I still have three people in that class, and you're supposed to switch into Sith assassin or Sith sorcery. So people, these three class, these three people in the Sith Lords class, you have to transfer to either Sith Assassin class or Sith sorcery class. And you have unto Sunday, Sunday to accomplish that means. Sunday, so please transfer out of Sith Lords Mastery class on Patreon and pick Sith Assassin or Sith Sorcerer. Why are you still in that? I have no idea. Some people have a problem following instructions. Some people are lazy. Some people just forget. That happens. Switch over. Because you know in the Sith class, I don't, I don't take excuses. I'm not dealing with excuses. We're about discipline, transformation, and growth of Sith classes. So I'm not into all that excuse and why you didn't do it. Just do it. Your, your time is now. So do it. Transfer over to either Sith Assassins or Sith Sorcery class. All right. Next announcement August 1st, and it's already set up. August 1st, I already put the tier on Patreon. We'll begin the Black Path. The class of the Black Path. What is the class of the Black Path? The Black Path is a class exploring, exploring Shaitan, Iblis, and the Jinns, the Fritz and the Ghouls. And how to use the power of Shaitan, the jinn, the frit and ghouls to reach the level of apotheosis. The class starts August 1st. The required books that you will need to start the class are already listed on the tier. So go on to Patreon if you want to join that class August 1st. Look at the required books and start reading the required books on August 1st. We can get right into the class. 
So it's already listed on Patreon. Starting in September starts the necromancy class. September 1st starts the nec necromancy class. The required book is already on that tier. It's already up. So look on the necromancy class on the tier on Patreon. Another class probably will start in October. It's left hand pass sex magic class and left hand pass African magic class. So those will probably start in September or October, most likely October. So those who are interested in the gin, those who are interested in the power of the gin, the frit, the gold, those who are interested in what shaitan is, who shaitan is, the power of all these things and how to use it and gain gnosis in it and reach apotheosis. Sign up for the class now if you want. So you can start reading the required books. You can start asking questions on there through that tier before the classes even start. And then August 1st, we're going right into it. All right. Eternal blessings to all. I greet you as I leave.